Hi Virgo, this is Just with your August 2018 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. And happy birthday for you August-born Virgos out there. Uh, so Virgo, coming out of July, or you might as well say the beginning of July, a lot of um, responsibility. I feel a lot of you guys have been getting weighed down by responsibility. Um, what you have to do versus what you want to do. You know, where you need to be versus where you want to be. It's that type of thing. And some of you have just really been keeping your head down, keeping your nose clean and really focusing on your bottom line. Some of you may be getting into real estate. So real estate for you may be a big deal right now. And if you are a real estate agent or you're a buyer, you're into commercial property, um, closing deals may have been quite the task, but you've done it, you know, um, and you may have reached a higher pinnacle or it may have been actually a challenge for you, for you guys, um, this past month. So some of you have some successes. Some of you didn't have as much successes as you anticipated as far as the amount of work that you've put in. Right. Um, but, but, you know, just give it time. You know, it's some, you, we had a lot of retrogrades, so there could have been some disappointment with the results comparative to the efforts that you've put in and the past. Now I do see that some of you, um, are family focused right now, or you're just really focused on things that's bringing you ultimate happiness. You may come into this month saying, damn it, I'm not going to work so hard this month. My birthday month is coming up or my I'm preparing for my birthday next month. And I just want to really be happy. I just really want to do things that's going to bring me some happiness, you know, because I need that balance. Um, I do see that a lot of you have mentally moved away. You could have physically moved. I do see some of you have physically moved, like you've moved things. You've been working on a home. You've been reconstructing your home, redesigning your home, remodeling your home. And just focusing on this house or this move have really put you in a happier space space you can see the possibilities they're endless with this new place that you're staying but there's still some challenges financially for some of you there's still some challenges with the old circumstance or an existing circumstance that you're still stuck to and it may have something to do with finances or it may have something to do with like gosh you know I still have to deal with this and I kind of can't disconnect from it although everything else in my life seems to be you know looking up I do see that um, some of you may be thinking, you know, you want to go to school, you want to kind of put a period on something, but you can't, you can't do it or someone else won't do it. Um, So if you have a job, you have your career, you may want to conclude something with a client, uh, but you can't, you know, you may want to say, okay, I don't want this client anymore, but you're, you know, your case manager or your, your, um, team lead or you know your manager isn't gonna let you just say okay give it to someone else you have got to deal with it I do see that there's a lot of just new fresh energy coming for Virgos uh, and you have either traveled or you're wanting to travel and you're really like can't wait to travel some of you just like I can't wait to get out of here and it's like as soon as you you left you kind of you guys could have took a trip you came back broke or you came back and your money is funny, or you just feel like, you know, you're not as, it wasn't the most logical choice in, in making this move. You could have felt foolish after a while, even though the food card is upright, you came back reverse. So, so there's a, a part of you that could have felt a bit, um, it was a risk that maybe was not worth taking at this time. You know what I mean? Uh, some of you, if it's not a physical, uh, like a travel or a risk that you've taken, there's a new beginning that you want desperately that is going to take you away from where you have been and to where you want to go, but it's, you can't do it. You're kind of like your heels are stuck right now because financially you can't do it on a practical level. You can't do it. You, you need to wait for someone else to pull the trigger. So it's not under your control. There's a lot of, you know, having to kind of take a step back and having to relinquish the control of the situation and be that ever so disgusting word of patient. Um, I think patience is a beautiful thing, you know, and it, it, you know, it's, it's like an acquired taste. Um, Some people have it naturally and other people don't necessarily. And so some of you definitely have to, you know, acquire that patience. Now external for you. And and again, in the workplace, you may want to leave a job, you may want to move on to something else, but you have to wait. Um, If you had planned to move on to a job, there may be some changes in that like, oh, well, well, you're not going to move, you're not going to work there, you're not going to be with this person, you may find out, oh, the person I thought I was going to be 
uh, working with, now you're not working with them. So there's going to be some changes that's happening. And it's, again, out of your control. External to you, again, if you're looking for work, you may find that there's work out there. Um, at first, it looks like it's it's like peaks and valleys. There's, there's you know, messages coming in and then you don't hear anything. And then you may hear something and then there's a whole bunch of hurry up and waiting. So that's kind of the you know, the theme of the beginning part of August is just like hurry up and wait, basically a lot of waiting and ruminating and trying to decide. And this is a good thing too, because we don't, we don't fully go um, full forward in energies until September. So, you know, you can look at this month kind of as a wash as far as business and wanting to propel to the next level for a lot of you. Now, uh, you will find that you may find a lot of, you know, work situations and projects stalled. Um, you have to wait. You don't have enough money. You can't do this yet. It could become a bit frustrated. Do your best to see it as logically as possible. Do your best to, you know, communicate as, 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 as effective and just focus on what you what you need to be kind of bringing down the pike, you know, focus on those little details of things that you need to get done now that you won't be rolling out until later that that way you won't be as frustrated. And I do feel like when it's time to go out and enjoy yourself, your brain won't be on 10 thinking about all the things that you're waiting on and how it's all going to play out. It's like, no, I'm really just focusing on I'm in the preparation stages of things right now. So it's just not time yet. And that's how you're I feel like you'll you'll be more at ease. Now, second week, I see that you guys will be coming into the second week extremely strong, very much focused on your bottom line and your finances. Some of you will finally get that call if you've been looking for work. Yes, you will get the job. You got it. And it's paying really good money. And it's at a very reputable uh, company or corporation. Uh, and it's like it's exactly what you want. OK, you may be looking to go into an, an existing area of your job and that's going to come through for you. It's like everything that was kind of stagnant once we get into the second week of um August, a lot of things start to start manifesting for you. Okay. Uh, I feel like you're going to be communicating extremely well as, as to everyone around you. And you'll just start seeing everything kind of just falling into place. So that's really good. Uh, now, the end of August, because this is the first two weeks. Now, the end of August, there's some other changes and shifts that's happening for you guys. Um, that looks to be very interesting. If you're interested in that, you can click the link below. I'm going to be going into an extended love portion as well, looking at specifically you and your partner, uh, your feelings, your background, the outcomes of your relationship for this month and uh, dates to follow. Uh, so if you're interested in the extended portion of this read, click the link below and it'll take you straight there. Now, love. And as a matter of fact, before I even start on love, I want to say for, for Virgos, you're, you know, you have, you have money. You may just feel poverty stricken. You may just feel, again, it, it could be something that's not formulating as fast as you would like. And that's why you're feeling um, out of sorts and you can't pull the trade. You can't move fast and you just want to, but finances are looking pretty good. Just wanted to, to, um, just wanted to, um, point that out. And I will point out another thing as we get out of August, you will have to uh, pay out something. It's like you have to pay out something, but we'll get further into that in the extended. Now, uh, love, um, some of you have really been working really hard almost to make a house a home. You really want a house, a home. You finally feel for some of you that, you know, you have what you want. You have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, might as well say, you have your children and the love of your life. And there's like a new beginning. Some of you have a new beginning with um, an old love, family. Uh, family, if you're not in a relationship, family it, in it of itself may be that new um, press restart button that you're focusing on. Some of you could just be focusing on your children and just feeling an overwhelming sense of happiness. Now, for those of you who are in this relationship that I'm saying here, um, you may have relocated, disconnected from someone is what it looks like. And there's still some energies here of being connected. Can't necessarily still detach from one another. It can have something to do with your finances. It looks very prominent that finances is holding up everything between you and another person. Okay. Some of you, um, if you're a Virgo woman, I feel like you're doing what you need to do to, if you're the Virgo woman or the female energy in the lives of Virgo men. Okay. Got it. The female energy here is trying, it's not trying, but she is 
starting new. So there could be new work, new job, new career, new, you know, sources of income coming in by way of getting certifica- certified, uh, going back to school, but doing something that's going to evolve you in some way so that you can kind of move forward. Um, there's a new beginning that's coming up. You guys are definitely wanting to just charge off. You you sit and you think so often about this family life, about this love of your life, about this passion, this passionate new beginning with someone. Um, and you just, and the eclipse is going to make you really walk away from a situation. A hundred percent. You have been thinking and, and contemplating and wanting this for so long. And you're going to say, damn it, I'm leaving. Whatever this past situation was, and it literally is almost like echoing Leo. So if you have Leo in your chart, you know, listen to that because it really says a lot of the same messages. Um, but you're leaving and there's going to be saying that you're going to say that I don't want a commitment. I'm not moving forward in a direction of someone. Um, I'm not going to move forward. If you're a Virgo man, you're saying that you're not, you don't want this anymore. You don't want something that you've had. You have been longing for a new beginning with someone, um, and you just haven't yet. You may feel like I don't have enough money. Um, I'm tied up with this situation here. I got to get all of my ducks in a row. Because when you think about it, you think about this family where, you know, it could be your children. You may have uh, combination children or combined children, that sort of thing. Uh, but you think more specifically of you and this person and the love that you share and how you can, you know, have 10 years together and forever kind of love and just love each other and look out on the earth and go travel and just experience life together. Right. And it's like, the closer we get to the second week of August, it's like you really have to have it. You have to have it. Uh, but financially, it may not be time yet. You know, just it's just as far as energetically, it may not be time. External to you, I feel that um, someone has been waiting. You have uh, someone from your past or at present. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting on you, waiting and anticipating and praying and waiting and trying to see what's going to go on with the situation. Some of you have been at this place of trying to contemplate what you want to do, you know, in the end, like, what do you really want to do? Um, you have, you have, you may have cut someone off and said, no, this isn't going to work. I don't want this. Um, I do feel like some of you could have cut someone off, but you still have feelings for them. But, you know, you're trying to get away from the bondage that you found yourself in with this person. And the only way that you can do that is to, you know, hide your, not necessarily hide your feelings, but just basically, you know, take away the feelings and be all about what's right. Because you feel like until the situation be, gets fair, something about the unfairness of it that, and you're not going to let up off of that. You want it right. And I feel like even when it's right, you're not going to want it. You're like you're you're going to be free to move on to this love that you've been dreaming about is what it looks like to me for some of you um second week i feel that you guys are going to start to manifest or really start to make preparations toward uh this family okay your commitment you're very clear now okay on what you want and i do feel like some of you um like i said there's going to be um I see like, a, like with Leo, I saw her running out and saying, okay, I want to be with you. This is who I want. They're all in. Virgos, I feel like you're really getting your ducks in a row. You're really saying, okay, this is what I want. And for some of you, it could just be a marriage and you're saying, okay, we want to retire at this time. We want to be able to take this trip at this time. And the second week, it's like, okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I got my plan in place. Now it's just operation. Get it you know, and that's what your focus is on. Others of you that sifting through an old relationship, there may be an opportunity to reconcile, but I feel that Virgos will be really evaluating the situation because some of you may have dealt with someone who turned their back on you, um, who you hadn't heard from. Now you hear from this person and it's like, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if I want to deal with you. I don't know how practical it would be for me to be involved with you at this time, you know, anymore, you know, and you may find that when you get to the second week of August, that you're willing and wanting to work things out with this person. Okay. Some of you, very sh- small amount of you, a lot of you are going to be working toward manifesting that love that you want, that ultimate family that you've been desiring. And for you guys, it, it comes in a form of the practical things, right? So let me get my house in order. Let me get my, my credit, right? Let me get all these things correct so when this person comes clearly they have to match 
me we both can't come or no one you know i you want it to be for those of you who've been anticipating this love you want it to be an equal footing you want to you want to be financially secure you want to be um, mentally stable you want all of the trimmings that would make for a happy relationship where you can travel you can have fun the children are healthy because everyone's happy that sort of thing like that's what you kind of just want and that's your aim and that would be your bottom line for a lot of Virgos um now if you're looking for the extended because as we get into August it's going to be a huge shift I don't know if Virgos are even ready for uh, what's about to come up <laughs> but there's going to be some changes that's going to be coming up for you guys um, as we get going into September so if you're interested in that and I'm going to give a more in-depth look into um, you versus your mate and the outcome and look a little deeper into your emotions and feelings as it relates to one another now if you're single I do see that again you're still wanting this new beginning you are going out you may not be you're not meeting the proper person because the per the right person is for you um, is doing the same thing that you're doing. They're, they're calling in their soulmate. You calling in your soulmate, they're calling in their, your soul, their soulmate. And it, there's a divine time for this. Okay. Second week though, I feel like for those of you who are single, you're going to resume life as usual work and focusing on, uh, again, setting yourself up. Now, you know, now it's clear. It's completely clear. There's no more unsureness. Like you're a hundred percent clear and how you feel. Um, again, so I'm going to leave it there. I think that that's what I have for the first two weeks of August for you guys. Um, if, you know, it's funny. I want to say this too. If some of you have had this, uh, bitter spat, if you have, you're in a relationship, there's been this bitter spat, like you can't get, can't live with them. You can't live without them. Um, and you guys have been on different sides of the spectrum, like probably not speaking, not talking, uh, you've considered walking away or you have walked away from the situation. It may be an opportunity for a, a, a re reuniting, but there's been a pause, a waiting, just more of a praying and hoping and wishing. Uh, second week, there can be a communication that comes in wanting to get on the same page as far as family and far as commitment is concerned and having made a decision about it. OK, uh, so I do see that as well. So all is not lost for those of you who are in this great transition phase in a particular love relationship either with your Virgo or you Virgos because the outcome of August does speak to a whole ch reversal in how things started and then it changes into something completely different so that's what I have for you guys again click the link below for the extended and we can look a little deeper into this whole situation otherwise leave a comment in the comment section below let me know how you like this and how it resonated with you if you like something personal with me I can be reached the beginning into this video and in the description box below and if you're new to this channel welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Virgo.